Moving on, Israel has once again violated the truce with Palestinian resistance groups. Israeli soldiers shot and wounded one Palestinian in the Gaza Strip. Medical sources say the incident occurred east of Khan Yunus. The Israeli military, however, says soldiers fired rubber bullets in the air. It's declined to comment on injuries. On Friday, Israeli soldiers opened fire on a group of young Palestinians in Khan Yunus, killing one. Nearly 20 other people were injured. Resistance groups in Gaza have denounced the attacks as violations of the truce that ended eight days of Israeli aggression. Political commentator Ralph Shawman joins me from Berkeley to tell us more about this. Uh, Mr. Shawman, uh, history shows Israel has never respected any truce with the Palestinians, and this time is no exception. Then why have a truce in the first place when it's going to be violated? Well, the, the Israelis always function that way. The truces that they sign, they don't honor, and they, you see, they utilize these things as means by which they tie the hands of the people they victimize. You gave the example of the death of the 21-year-old Abdul Hadi Kaida, uh, who uh, was killed for no other reason than he and farmers were entering a buffer zone to check on their crops uh, after hearing a news report that restrictions had been lifted in the area. And that was true for people throughout Gaza who were going into areas that they had once farmed, areas that were entirely uh, theirs and part of their uh, the, the land that had uh, is associated with their with their homes and their right. production, and they are then treated as targets. And that's Mr. precisely Shulman. what has occurred here. Yes, and it's a it's a measure of the contempt of the of the Zionist state and its apparatus that it just does this brazenly and without any compunction. Yes, Mr. Shulman, uh, briefly, if you can. Of, uh, of uh, Hamas uh, uh, made clear that over 1.2 billion dollars. Uh, of destruction and damage had been inflicted on the buildings and infrastructure and agriculture. Right, Mr. Shulman, Mr. Shulman. short onslaught that we've just witnessed. It and Mr. Shulman, another question that comes to mind is that why is Gaza only targeted with such aggressiveness and not the West Bank? Because, I mean, both are Palestinians, so what's the difference? Well, there's uh, actually continuing uh, aggression being launched against the population of the West Bank almost every day. Uh, the, the area is carved into little uh, localities under zones A, B, and C, one in which only the Palestinian Authority has police jurisdiction, but this is overseen by Israeli officers, the other in which it is joint patrols, and the third in which the Israelis themselves are the only uh, enforcement, as it is called, and they're constantly invading and attacking and arresting and disappearing. It's, a, it's an everyday event in the West Bank. Right. Uh, it, it's repression and exploitation and subjugation that is non-stop. It's, not, right. it's never ceased in the West Bank. All right. Ralph Shawman, political commentator from Berkeley, California. Thanks for your time there, sir.